the latching end effector or the hand of the Canadarm2 robotic arm is in the process of unlatching or letting go of the Cygnus cargo spacecraft. Snares open. Begin monitoring for drift out. Vision copies. and the release of the Cygnus spacecraft supporting Northrop Grumman's 17th commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station is confirmed at 6.07 a.m. Central Time while the space station was flying over the Pacific Ocean. The pin has exited the lead. Houston copies. Proceeding to back away. Vision copies. The Cygnus cargo spacecraft is now working on backing away from the space station's robotic arm. Coming up next is the initiation of a departure burn to move the spacecraft away from the International Space Station. This burn is scheduled to fire for about three minutes and carry Cygnus through the approach ellipsoid. At this point, joint operations will end and Northrop Grumman will be in full control of the spacecraft. Back away in progress. Vision copies. And back away has begun. You can see some lights on the top of your screen. I know it's a dark view, but that is the Cygnus cargo spacecraft slowly drifting away from the space station's robotic arm. And station sees us at 4.5 meters clear. 1.5 meters clear. You think copy is one decimal five. Houston, we see us 4.5 meters clear, proceeding with vehicle departure. Houston concurs. The view that you're looking at now is a camera at the end of the space station's Canadarm2 robotic arm looking at the Cygnus cargo spacecraft as it backs away.
Captain Cygnus, depart. Commanded. And back away complete. Copy back away complete. Station Houston, Cygnus departure burn is in progress. Monitor departure burn, step five in 1.602. Station copies departure burn in progress, monitoring per step five. The purpose of the departure burn, of course, is to move Cygnus away from the International Space Station, but it's also to move the vehicle through the keep-out sphere and the proto-ellipsoid. The keep-out sphere is an imaginary sphere 200 meters in radius around the space station. It's one of the safety zones we talked about earlier uh, that applies to visiting vehicles either arriving or, in this case, departing the space station. Before moving into the keep-out sphere, the spacecraft must be configured where it would not cross this imaginary boundary again for at least four orbits, even if the spacecraft lost all maneuvering in the unlikely event of an emergency. The Cygnus cargo spacecraft is now reaching about 100 meters away from the International Space Station. Station Houston, for exercise constraints, uh, we are no longer in the no exercise constraints, and the T2 constraint will lift in approximately 20 minutes. 